welcome back to my channel okay so i know it's been a while you know i did the whole 12 days to kindle i wanted to give y'all a little break so when i came back y'all missed me but as you read by the title this is a little you know bloggy vlog self-care weekend and you can kind of tell i need it because i look rough right now so it's like 9 45 i'm on the way to get knotless braids done so yeah i'm about to hurry up because i don't want to have to pay a late fee so yeah um i probably won't like record when i'm getting there because um it's at the girl's house but i definitely will show y'all when i get my braids done and yeah i'll be back with the next thing i'm gonna do today okay, so i just finished getting my hair done they're pretty long they are butt length but um i literally haven't eaten all day because when i woke up it was about time for me to go and i didn't want to be late for the appointment like i said and i'm starving so i'm on the way to popeyes i'm in this church this random church parking lot that was on the way to me getting to the popeyes because i remember i saw this ad and it was like you get a free like they have this new frozen lemonade it was like you get a new free one if you buy a sandwich and i was like i wanted a sandwich anyway because they had the new black and chicken sandwich that i wanted to try but when i added the sandwich to the cart the lemonade was not free but i think it was because the crispy chicken sandwich made the lemonade free but either way it doesn't matter i'm going to popeyes i placed my order and i got a free apple pie so at least something was free so yeah i'm on the way there now and i'm gonna need to hurry up because i haven't ate all day and i'm not feeling good so i'll be back with y'all soon okay i just got my food i was going to eat in the popeyes parking lot but the Popeyes like has no parks and so I had to end up parking in a handicapped lot and I was a handicapped space. I was like, you know what, let me move. So I'm at the gas station about to eat this food. I literally cannot wait till I get back to school. Like it's I'm that hungry and I don't wanna drive and eat this because last time I drove me in a Popeye sandwich it was it was bad. But yeah, this is the bag. Okay. Oh, and this is the drink. Maybe I should try to drink first. Mm. It's not bad. I've had better drinks, but like it's it's pretty good. Okay. We got the sandwich. The apple pie. Oh wow, I got a straw, but they already put one in here. One for the car. We're gonna start with the sandwich. Usually I would do dessert first, but I'm just a little too hungry. It's covered in mayo. There was no option on the app to put no mayo. And I hate mayo. Like, it's on both sides. I'm really about to cry. <laughs> like, I'm hungry. And they gonna put mayo on both sides of the sandwich? Oh, like, I would try to wipe it off. But, like, you know the taste still be there. I'm gonna just try to bite it and see like if it's nasty. Probably, I know it's probably gonna be nasty, but oh. Uh -uh. like the sandwich itself is pretty good i just can't get over this mayo like the flavor on it is good i should have got the spicy one but i was scared like on the other one it was like a spicy sauce so like, i was like this one gonna be like some spicy seasoning or something i don't know but i'm gonna you know try with the start with the regular first it's pretty good i like the classic crispy sandwich better but whoever made this you're disgusting like why would you put this much may and i already wiped off a bunch it's still this much and it's some more up under it like this is disgusting like oh i don't even want to like i'm oh i'm maybe i'm just a picky eater i don't know but like looking at all this mayo just makes me want to vomit and they've got that little piece of chicken on there and there's some more mayo under the bottom. Like, dang, you, you you didn't have to do all this, sir, ma'am. Whoever made this sandwich, like, whoever made this deserves termination. Like, 
even if I wasn't like one of those people that overly like extremely did not like mayo, why would you put that much? But I'm going to just eat my sandwich. I'm going to just eat the rest of this. Y'all, I'm going to just cut it off because I'm going to be mad. But I'm going to be back with y'all when I get back to school because I can't right now. Okay, so it's been a good little minute since I get, got back. And no, I'm not just lay down, laying down straight on the bed messing up my hair. I've been sitting up this whole time. But I thought this lady was like following me home from Popeye's. Like, okay, so I, the Popeye's was on Guest Road in Durham. And if you know where that is, you know. But if not, I'm finna explain to you. So to get back to Central, which is basically downtown Durham, I had to get on Highway 85 to get on 15 to get on 147 or the Durham Freeway. So I just named three different highways. So obviously I had to get off on the exit like three times. So when I was on the first highway 87, uh, not 87, 85, there was a police that pulled somebody over. And if you know me, I can have a little aggressive foot on the pedal. But as I, ever, whenever I see somebody get pulled over like the whole rest of the way, I don't care if I'm like three cities a whole state away from where somebody got pulled over at i'm staying i'm still going to the speed limit so i was going like 55 and like the whole time so most of the other cars were like going around me obviously because like on the highway nobody goes the speed limit but i saw somebody get pulled over so i wasn't risking it like i didn't know like if their partners was down the road or whatever so i was just like you know what i'm gonna go to speed limit so that's of course like cars are going past me but it was this one silver car that just would not pass me and i'm like okay you know maybe they're trying to go to speed limit too they saw the police too and they we are on the same wavelength so i was fine with it you know like we got off on all the same exits and usually like i would have been suspicious of them getting off on all three of the same exits as me but then i was thinking about it i was like no nah, all these exits are leading to like downtown durham like there's so many things over here they could have been going to so i was like you know what it's cool it's whatever but like they kept getting real close to me, like riding my bumper. At one point, the, the lady was like this close behind me. And I'm like, either she's not paying attention, like she's just on her phone or something. Or like, she's trying to kill me. Like, I don't know. But like, she almost hit me like three separate times on the way for me getting home. So I was going to get off on um exit. The, the exit before the one I used to get off on to go to school. This is the one like by the Pelicans, the Federal Road, Federal Street exit. I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to keep going. So I got off on the next one to Austin and the um she got off too. And I was like, mm, okay, you know, but it's okay. Maybe she's just, you know, going down 55 or whatever. So she turns the same way. I turn after you get off the exit, both toward the right, like going towards central. I'm like, okay. So then she slows down. So like she goes from almost running over, running me over to like, three four car lengths behind me and i'm just like this is weird but okay maybe she realized she was about to hit me so she was like okay i'm gonna slow down but then i threw on the turn signal to turn you know down well you don't know but there's a little side street on the side of the building i stay in and it just leads straight down to the parking lot so i threw on a turn signal to go down that street and immediately after i put my turn signal on she put hers on too so i'm like maybe maybe she maybe she just i don't know but I turned in on this side of the building and she turned in on the other side. So I'm like, okay, maybe either she just go for Central 2 and she just doing something on the other side of the building, even though I don't know why she would go over there because literally every car, almost every car that parks there gets towed, especially over the summer session. Or she really was trying to follow me and she just thought turning at the other street was going to bring her to where I was at and she was mistaken. I don't know. But either way, I was scared. I hurried up, parked my car, looked around, made sure she, the car wasn't there, and ran up to my building, ran my room, closed the door, and locked it. So, yeah, um, here I am. I just was getting off my mental breakdown from that. You know, I scrolled through TikTok for a bit. I finished the sandwich. It was okay when I took the mayo off. It was better. I ate the apple pie. It was 10 out of 10. And the drink, the more I drank, like, the more I realized it was good. So, I still didn't drink it all. Because i obviously been having a lot going on. It's still sitting on my little nightstand. But the drink is good. So, I was supposed to go to, like, some little 
I don't know how to describe it. It was a, a little, it's an establishment in Chapel Hill. I've never been before, but um, one of my friends, we were going to go, but I don't know if we're still going because it's 8.51. I still haven't gotten a text, like get ready or anything. So I don't know if we're still going, but if we do, I'll keep you posted and I'll update y'all, you know, like if I get dressed, my fit or whatever. But if not, I probably won't be back on here until tomorrow when I do the rest of my self-care stuff. Either that or after I finish this assignment and decide to do more self-care stuff tonight. So either way, I'll see y'all later in the next few seconds. So you'll know when that was. So Okay, so it's the morning time. I woke up at about like 8.30 because I was supposed to have a lash appointment at 11 because I want to give away for a free lash set. And I was like, let me book that. But um, I woke up because I thought like, the girl's gonna go ahead and send me the address because you know a lot of people don't send the address to the place until the day of but she had an emergency so my appointment is canceled and i have to reschedule it for like anytime that's not today so that's the part of my self-care that's gone but um it's like 11 30 12 o'clock now i just been in the bed sleeping you know because i was tired yesterday so um i'm probably just gonna do a little bit of work first and then like go you know get my nails done do other stuff but i'll keep y'all posted i'll let you guys know when i leave somewhere or when i do something so hey vlog so this is the fit you know got the guy she's so fat fit on the hat the purse just you know something very much slight so i'm about to go to the nail salon and obviously i'm not from Durham, so like, i don't really know the good nail salon so like i put a little a little question box thing on my instagram and they gave me like six so i'm just gonna i looked at all of them they all had good reviews but there's this one that was like more expensive than the rest of them but i know for a fact they're gonna be able to do the design i want so i probably gonna go there because i have a gift card anyway it's not like i'm spending my real money on it so i'm just go there instead of like going somewhere cheaper and they mess up my nails and i'm mad so yeah i'm gonna go there and then what else go get some food and go to the park or something and do work so yeah i'll be back with y'all in a little place that was like the more expensive one but i knew for sure they could do what i was gonna do they're closed on sunday when i was on google it said it was open and i pulled up and it was closed so i'm just gonna go to the one that's like on the same road as the chipotle i'm trying to go to for lunch and just hope they do a good job so i'll update y'all later so they're really busy today the lady that was doing my answer the phone a couple of times so so far i have this and she's gonna come back and do the design after she finished what she needs to do and then i'm gonna get my pedicure so I'll be back soon okay i'm done i'm gonna insert a little picture of right here like what i wanted what i got and then like everything but yeah i'm hungry so i'm about to go to chipotle and I'll update y'all when I get there. Okay, I got chicken tacos and I was gonna wait to eat them, but they're about to be soggy because the pelican's lawn is taking too long. So yeah, I'm about to eat this and then get this. Okay, so I'm back at school now. I was gonna like go to a park, but I was like, let's just come back. So well, the table's empty now, but I just finished my Chipotle, ate my pelicans, and now, it must do work. My computer's in the bag. Um, I have a final exam for my technical writing class that's due today. So I'm about to do that real quick. Um, try to find track notes here now so we can take my pictures. And then after that, probably like go to my room, you know, work on business stuff, clean up, face masks, etc. So I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. All right, so I went back to my room, finished my final exam. I really didn't clean up much of anything, but I finished my work and that's what matters. But um, now I'm a little bit stressed out because the teacher's great and stuff and she keeps giving me 75 and I'm just like, for what? Like one of the assignments was like three to four pages or whatever. And I did like, I got on the third page, but like I didn't fill the whole third page and she gave me a 75 because of that. And I'm like, but was it not on the third page? I guess that's just college stuff because like before when I would do an English assignment and there would be like three pages and I got like 
half of the third page done, they would accept that. But now it's not. And I'm just, I'm over it. Cause I need an A in all these classes for like a very serious reason. Or the theme of these videos is gonna be a little bit different. So I'm about to get ready, pack up my stuff a little bit. Um, probably go eat some breakfast. Like I don't feel like eating cause I'm mad about my grade, but I need to eat something. And then go home because this week I have off because it's like the the transition period between summer session one and session two. And so we don't really have class. So I'm going to go home this week, you know, go hang out, do things, kind of enjoy the little bit of summer I do have. So, yeah, I'll be back with y'all once I finish packing and leave. But, yeah, this video is about to be over soon. Okay, vlog. I'm about to go eat in the calf and go to the mail center and open some packages and me opening the packages is probably gonna be the last like real part of this vlog because I believe opening packages is self-care so after I open that I'm gonna just end it before this thing gets to like 50 minutes so yeah I'll be back with y'all when I get my food and then when I have my packages okay vlog I have three packages today I know what two of them are but Central Office of Underground Admissions sent me a package and I don't know why they put it to my old dorm from like last semester and I haven't been communicating with admissions so I don't know what this is so we about to find out. Hopefully you can stay. What is it? This is a lot of stuff in here. Oh. What the fuck? They stop cussing in my videos. My bad. I think they must think I'm like a freshman still. <laughs> like they keep sending, this is not the first time they've sent me an email like put my stuff there thinking like I'm an incoming freshman or something like. No, they think you're a prospective student. Can you, they keep sending me like the stuff they be sending to freshmen like they, I love my HBC. Put my stuff down. Yeah, a really mouse pad, like a notebook. They just, they keep sending me stuff like I'll, I'll take the stuff but like I just don't know why they keep sending me this. You like, just talking about today how you wanted some stuff, some stuff like the first they, thing. Huh? They sent me this pop socket. I don't know why they sent that, but Let okay. Me read it. No, and then I sent. I mean, I ordered these waist beads. They were cheap. I got these off Etsy. I wanted to, you know, support a small business. If this will open, they use a whole bunch of adhesive. And the lady emailed me because in my thing, I put what two like specific colorways I wanted. And she was like, I'm sorry, I can't give you both because you paid for one. When I clearly paid for two, but I don't know. We're going to see when I open this. Oh my gosh. It's, do y'all see this? Like, I don't know if it's because it's hot, like it melted on it some more, but this is a little bit too sticky. Not a um incoming freshman email with me. Okay, they she sent me this girl. Like I ordered two. It's okay though. This one's cute. It's like a little gold waist bead. It'll be cute, you know. A little something something for the summertime. Real cute. This one probably way too big for me, like the other one is. But at this point. I don't know why, like when you order waist beads, they don't ask what your waist measurement is. They're just like, oh, okay, if you ordered a waist bead here, take this customary one size fits all. Knowing good and well, everybody does not have the same size waist, but it's whatever. Now I'm about to order, I mean not order, open the last package. This is the only thing I paid for. The other two were free. This, I have won a giveaway for a wig. I, I don't know because I'm a brand ambassador for my friend Ashley's hair business. And obviously to get your hair done and she does like wigs and stuff, obviously I have to have a wig and wigs are expensive. So once I had like saw she had sent the thing of like how many times we would have to get our hair done. I was like, let me go look up some giveaways or something. And I looked it up and I entered it and I won. So now I'm gonna figure out how to open this box. because. It's not, there's no tape on any part of it. Um, okay. 
Okay, P is it? Got the little confetti paper. Ah, oh, I'm blocking it. And then here goes the wig. Hold up. I'm just spilling stuff. Not me just sitting here with it. But no, it's like a it's a I think it's a 12 inch bob wig. And like she customized it. You can see like the little baby hairs in the front. It's it's real cute. I'm gonna insert a picture of like what it looked like on the girl's Instagram. And I'm not gonna get this installed before um the video is posted. But whenever I do get it installed, y'all definitely will see. But yeah, it's a little wiggy wig. Well, I'm gonna take it out. Let's let's look at her. Oh, some of the confetti's in here. Okay, period. It got the little, oh, it got the little elastic band on the inside, you know. I'm definitely gonna put um put the girl that I got this from her Instagram in the description. She customizes wigs, so like if you have wigs or like you want to make a wig, you send her the bundles or the wig, and she'll make it. Like this is real cute, you know, the nice blunt cut bar. I feel like this gonna be cute on me. I hope so. It's a stretchy wig too, cause some of them wig caps is be a little too small for some big headed girls like me. But yeah, I'm gonna just pray this look good on me when I put it on. So yeah, um, that concludes this video. I hope y'all like my packages and everything that I did. So yeah, I'll be back with y'all on the next one. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.